everyone, my name is Ellie, and today I am going to be showing you how I make progress books for cosplay competitions. Now, if you've ever competed in a competition before, you'll know that most of the time the judges will want to see how you made your costume. They'll want to know what sort of materials you used and any new techniques that you learned along the way. And the best way to show them this is by having a progress book. To make my progress books, I've recently been using a free online program called Canva. Canva is great for any sort of social media or presentation. They have a bunch of pre-made templates as well as fonts and colors and pictures and textures and all sorts of awesome resources. Honestly, this has become one of my favorite websites to use. I always have it open in my browser and I seriously use it almost every day. What I really love about Canva is that it's so freaking easy. There is no questioning how to do anything. It's drag and drop, it's click and point. It's super duper easy. So the first step is to begin our presentation. I started by choosing a format that I liked the look of and that I thought kind of matched my costume. This progress book is for Water Blue New World Hanamaru from Love Live Sunshine. I'm going to be competing with her at KumoriCon 2019 and they have a few extra things that they like in their progress books like a short about me page as well as a portfolio page showing at least three costumes that you have made before. So my about me page, I'm just going to write a very quick little blurb. I don't want it to be anything too showy or too um, braggy, I guess you could say. I just want something that tells them a little bit about me and what I like to sew. So I've put in this quick little blurb about myself and I'm also going to list my most recent awards just so people know that I have been competing for a while. Now, of course, throughout your progress book, you want everything to be the same. So I have chosen a couple fonts that I like, one that's more of a title font and one that is my main materials font. And I am using those cohesively throughout the entire presentation. After finishing the About Me page, I'm going to move on to the portfolio page that I had mentioned earlier. So just like all the other pages, I am changing everything to those blue colors that match my Water Blue New World theme. And I'm going to pick three recent costumes that I feel kind of represent me and things that I want to be showing the judges. So right off the top of my head, I think I'm going to choose Punk Rock Hanamaru because I think that that shows a good use of materials. There's some 3D printing in there. There's a lot of different things going on there. Plus, it's a really well-sewn costume. I'm going to show Karen from Review Starlight because again, there's lots of unique pieces, some fitted things, looks really nice. Um, and I just think it's a good costume. It's one that I use to promote myself a lot. So it really speaks about me. And then for the last one, I think I'm going to choose Luchi Anonymy, which was one of my recent Best in Show awards. So it makes sense to show off something that I'm really proud of and that has won me an award. Now underneath each of these costumes, I am making sure that I list what the costume is as well as who took the photo. Even though this portfolio book isn't really gonna be seen by anyone outside of the judging room, I still want to respect my photographers and credit them for taking these beautiful photos. Now we get to move on to the real meat and bones of a progress book, which will be your references and your progress images. First, I'm going to make a couple pages for reference images. Since this is a Love Live costume, there is not only a anime version, but there's also a live version. And while these costumes are inspired by each other, they do look a little bit different, so I like to separate those reference images. So I'm going to make a nice, aesthetic, pretty looking grid of all of my anime references for Hanamaru in the Water Blue New World outfit. When choosing reference images, you're going to want to use official art as well as images that show all sorts of different angles. I've gone through the entire Water Blue New World scene in the Love Live Sunshine anime and have screen capped any sort of references of Hanamaru that I thought might be useful. So you can see that I have one of a close up of her top of her bodice as well as an image of the back of the bodice to show that it's low cut and it has that chiffon V going on. And then I've also included images of the longer skirt variant since I made both versions of the costume. 
For the reference images from the live show, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to make sure that I have images that show a wide variety of angles of this costume. Especially, I want to make sure I show the ombre under layers of this tutu, since this is something that I did on my costume that you can't really tell in the anime version. It's a live specific variation, you might want to say. Once I'm happy with the way my reference pages look, I'm going to add one more page, which is an inspiration page. For this costume, I was heavily inspired by ballet costumes, specifically classical tutus. So I want to be able to show where my inspiration came from, for my material choices, my pattern choices, and why I thought that that matched this costume. So I'm going to be plugging in a few of those images I have saved onto my computer in regards to this costume and what I was inspired by. All right, so now that we are happy with our reference and our inspiration pages, it's time to move on to the real stuff, which is our progress pages. Each page is going to focus on one part of the costume. I'm starting with a page on my tutu since this was the first thing I made and it's also one of the most important parts of this costume. So in these bullet points, I'm going to be listing a few different things like how I made it. Did I draft the pattern or did I buy a pattern? What sort of materials did I use? Was there anything that was extra challenging? Did I do any dye work or extra embroidery work or anything like that that you might not notice just looking at the costume, but I want the judges to be aware of. So here you can see that I talked about the 10 layers that went into this tutu, as well as the scalloped hem that I cut and the elastic waistband that they won't be able to see as I'm wearing the costume, but I think it's important that they know about. Once you're happy with how you described making that part of the costume, it's time to show the judges what you're talking about. So I'm going to include some images that are relevant to what I said in my description. So for my tutu, I am going to include things like images of the panty before and after it was dyed and how poofy the tutu was before I steamed it all down because it was insanely poofy and maybe a nice rainbow of all my layers because the layers look really nice together and how it looked after my first fitting. A few things like that to show the progress and how this tutu came to life. So I've shown you the basics of how to make a progress image page. I am going to do the same thing for the rest of my costume. I broke this costume into four parts, the tutu, the bodice, the overskirt, and all of the accessories. Accessories are generally small enough that you can clump them all onto one page, unless you did something really crazy. Like if you made this awesome light up staff, maybe you'll wanna put that on its own page rather than clumping it into the accessories and props page. All right, so let's jump ahead. I don't think you guys wanna see me type this all out. So let's jump ahead and take a look at the finished book. All right, you guys, so this is a look at my finished progress book for Water Blue New World Hanamaru. As you can see, I think it looks really, really nice. I'm going to have this printed in color on some nice paper, and then I'm going to put it into one of those like binded peachies that have the little holes and the little metal things that you bend over. Does that make sense? You know what I'm talking about? Those little thingies. Um, so that way I can just hand it to the judges and they'll be able to look through it. I might also add some swatches of my materials just so that way they can see them and remember what they were like. This is normally something that the judges will keep so they can look at it again when they're deciding awards and who might be in the running for certain awards at the end of the night. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick look into progress books. Progress books can be really, really fun and they're a great way to show off your love of the character and your costume. So it's really important that you put a bit of time into them and make them look really, really nice. It can leave a great lasting impression on the judges. So until next time, you guys, I hope that you all keep sewing, stay positive and have fun, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.